It's time to get real here for a second. Trademarked infringing designs, tag spamming, rejected designs, designs permanently removed, low margins, low sales. How about no sales, no traffic to your store? Then your account is deleted. No one at Redbubble seems to answer your emails and the robot is on the loose, banning everything in sight while leaving Spider-Man designs on the first page of Redbubble. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like something that's been your life? Well, in this video, if you're getting sick of Redbubble, I have three real alternatives and they're free. It's time to start seeing other POD alternatives. Let's go. Hey, what's going on everyone? I am not here to trash Redbubble and say it's a complete garbage site and all that stuff. Absolutely not. It serves a purpose. But there are some very annoying things on Redbubble, like trademarked and fringe designs, don't get me started. And I just want to offer some options because I, you know, I, I think it's important to have more than one option in your life so that if something's not working in one avenue, you can quickly pivot and with high quality, you can start selling things on another platform. So think of this more as in addition to Redbubble, not necessarily stop everything on Redbubble. But if you upload 3000 designs and it takes you two years of your life and then your account gets banned, that's a horrible feeling. So in this video, let's jump into some alternatives in addition to what Redbubble might want you to do. And the first option is other print on demand platforms. Okay, so what else is out there besides Redbubble? You could also upload your designs onto TeePublic. Now look, every single one of these suggestions is going to have upsides and downsides, okay? So the downside on deep TeePublic is that you're still gonna get a lot of the same problems you had on Redbubble. It's a lot of trademark infringement. There's a lot of tag spamming. So it's not necessarily any better, but you may have a different experience within TeePublic as well. There's also Display. Display are metal signs and you know, again, the downside to display, the upside is that you can make some pretty good sales on display. I have the downside is that you can uh, not necessarily get in right away. So if you apply to sell on Redbubble, you know, you just go down to the very bottom of the page and it says, there's a whole section here where it says selling on display. Open a display shop. There it is. Earn with display, open a display shop. And what would happen is you submit a portfolio to them, but I'm hearing that they're not currently accepting new designers. So anyway, I would definitely keep this one bookmarked and try again and try again, because if you can get into display, it's pretty cool. There's also Merch by Amazon. Merch by Amazon, I've heard everything from I got through on the first time to they're not currently accepting new people and everything in between. So again, not trying to be negative here, but you know, I got in on the first time on Merch and I didn't even know there was a, like a waiting period or anything. And meanwhile, I'm hearing from people that it's almost impossible to get into merch. So that stinks as well. But I would recommend trying. You can sell on merch by Amazon and there's other, they're always expanding their portfolio as well. So I would recommend that you click that sign up button and at least try. There's also Zazzle. Zazzle, I haven't done a lot of videos on Zazzle, but I like Zazzle. It's kind of like Etsy Lite almost. You have these little shops and a lot of stationery and stuff on Zazzle. Definitely worth ch checking out. There is Etsy. Now, before everyone grabs rotten fruit and starts throwing it at the speaker on the stage, Etsy does cost money. I know it's not 100% free, but I guess in my mind, it's free in the sense that if you, if you have 30 cents in your pocket and you list something and you sell it, then you're playing with found money. So yes, it does cost 30 cents to list some listings. So I throw that only in there to say, if you are willing to spend a little bit of money, you may get a better return because Etsy is not 100% free. Same thing here with Fine Art America. Fine Art America is free asterisks next to it because you get, I think, 30 uploads. And then after that, they say, hey, hold on, you're full and you can purchase for $30 a year. You can, cert uh, you can purchase um, your actual shop, which has unlimited designs, and you can link to a real website, that sort of thing. So Fine Art America is free, but it's kind of wimpy if you're doing free. There's also a shop here. Now, I think it's called Visual. It's V-S-U-A-L, Visual. And this is relatively new. I like the shop a lot, like the, the website. And there's a lot of like 
funky artwork on here. And if you go onto one of these, you can see there's different frame colors on the right. And then there's different mats. You can do a mat board, yes or no. So you can really, it's pretty neat. Like I will say, it's a cool looking interface. I will say the one downside to this visual site is that the price points on them are pretty ridiculous. I mean, $83 for a framed print. Now, look, I'm not saying it's not great value. I'm not saying it's not high-end art. I'm just saying you're not exactly selling a, a $1.20 sticker here is all I'm saying. So just be aware with visual as cool as it is. And there's some pretty high-end artwork on there. It is expensive, or at least it, it can be. I mean, six by 11, you're not exactly, you know, that's not a huge poster, right? There's another one here as well called Greeting Card Universe, and I haven't really talked about them much on the channel, but again, that's another option as well. If you're just doing greeting cards, this is, uh, you know, you can upload designs and make some, you know, sales. Now, I will say all of these have their foibles. You know, Greeting Card Universe, for example, has pretty low margins, but if you're looking to just... I don't want any headaches. I just want to upload designs and maybe make a few sales. These are some options. Out of all of these, the best is I would recommend Merch by Amazon. If you can get in, the only barrier is just signing up and then there's a 10 slot limit. But if you can start making sales on Merch, you can make some good money. And I feel like Merch doesn't have the same headaches as Redbubble does because there is a little bit of a barrier to entry, which is kind of nice actually. And then the other one I would recommend if you could ever get in is Display. And I understand that they're not currently accepting people, at least at the time of this recording. Uh, but if you want to bookmark that one and try back, those are the two that I would recommend in the print on demand space. The other option I wanted to mention is that you could use a printing service like a Printful and then you just link it up with an existing site. And so normally this would cost money. So for example, if you did start selling here on Printful and then you would sign up and what would happen is you could integrate this store with like a like your own website. So you could have a website that says, you know, markstshirts.com or debbiesapparel.com and then Printful would print your product and ship it to the client, but they're buying it through your website. So that's one option. There's another option as well that I wanted to mention and it's called LaunchCart. And LaunchCart is e-commerce software, but it's free. And so the idea here is that you would have a store through this launch cart and then you could upload through printful onto launch cart so i know it's kind of a weird like you're like what's going on here but it's like what you can do is you can get your own website launch and it would just have a launch cart uh domain so it says here launch your own online store nothing to install easy to get started and then you can custom brand your merch so I would recommend that you at least take a look at this. Um, launch cart may be good if you're interested in trying your own website, but you don't really want to spend any money. So what happens is if you make a sale, then launch cart would take a fee. Okay. So it says no credit card required, no monthly fee. That's all true, but there is a fee that you would pay on launch cart when you sell something. So here's the idea, right? No monthly signup fees. It's built for beginners you can sell over 300 products and you pay after you sell the item. So it's kind of like there's no upfront cost. So you could list like, you know, 100, 200 items. And then if you sell a t-shirt, you sell it for 30 bucks, but then you wind up paying Printful like 14 bucks. So you would net like $16 afterwards. So the upside is you could have really nice margins, much higher than Redbubble or TeePublic. The downside is you know, they are still taking a fee, but it's a fee based as you go. It's not an upfront fee. Here's just an example right on Printful's page. It says, how much does it cost to use LaunchCart? And it says it's a free e-commerce platform, but they do take a small transaction fee of 3%, which is pretty reasonable. So I would recommend definitely checking out LaunchCart. It's a free alternative. It's really, it's like risk-free, basically. You can list a bunch of stuff, and if it never sells, you're not out anything on a monthly basis, which is pretty nice. Printful is pretty easy to use, I will say, and there's a stores platform that you can pick. There's WooCommerce, Etsy. Uh, now, one that you may not have notice, noticed, of course, there's Shopify and WooCommerce, the big boys there. But one that you may not have noticed is eBay is in there as well. And so you can actually sell 
on eBay. And that's my third little tip here. So to find out how many free listings you have, when you first sign into eBay, you can just go over to the sell button and then you get to the seller hub. You just wanna to go to the overview. It's the first tab on the horizontal menu here, overview tab. And down at the very bottom of that seller's hub on the right hand side, at least it is on my computer, there's promotional offers. And here's where you would see how many listings you have available free every month. So for example, I'm in Canada, normally I get 50 free listings a month. Here it says 100,000 free insertion listings. And I think it might be because of the pandemic or because they're trying to stimulate sales. I don't know, sometimes they run these promotions, usually they're around Christmas, but here it says no insertion fees on 100,000 listings, including good till canceled. Now it ends on May the 1st, it starts on April the 1st. So for the month, I've got 99,998 listings. So in theory, I could set up through LaunchCart and Printful, I could set up a store that sells 99,000 items. Now I'd have to you know, not eat, sleep, or go to the bathroom for the next 30 days in order to list that many, but it, I could certainly start. And it's a relatively risk-free thing here on eBay. Now I do wanna point out on eBay, there are fees and it's usually between 10 and 15% depending on if you're using PayPal, depending on what country you're in, depending on conversion fees. So I just wanna throw that out there. You can estimate around say 12% fee off of eBay. And so you'd have to factor that in of course to your markups. If you're selling a $30 shirt, for example, you're gonna be paying eBay about three or $4 right out of the gates and then you still have to pay for the shirt too. So again, every option here has downsides. Now look, I wanna be completely honest here with you guys. I don't know you personally. I don't know your financial situation. I'm certainly not trying to sell you anything here in this video. You need to make a decision that's based on your life. I will say, here's just an example of a website where they've just bought the domain name and they've just uploaded a ton of designs. So I just wanted to use this just as an example. If you're ever wondering, you know, what would it look like if I opened up my own t-shirt shop? So here we can see this one that I picked completely at random. I've never seen them before 30 seconds ago. This one's called snorktees.com. And just look at all of the listings they've got. I'm just slowly sc scrolling through. Now this is all on their website. So they've created this sort of digital farm that just is massive, right? And they've just, these are all their, their designs. I'm just gonna open up just one, just completely at random. And here's just their listing. So they've got their t-shirts sitting here. They've got their design. And they've got the t-shirt, men's, women's, women tank, junior. Great looking website, I must say. Here's the different sizes. You can just add it to a cart. This is it. Like, this is what it looks like when you think, well, what would it look like if I had my own t-shirt shop? It would look a lot like this. You would just continue to see, I mean, even if they just sold a few t-shirts a day and they're getting printed by Printful or Printify or this new or some sort of printing service, this is huge. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of designs on here. So the reason I bring this up is simply just to say, you can sometimes overcome a little bit of money. Like if they're sp spending maybe $30 a month on their website, their domain name, and then, you know, uploading to Printful, maybe their overhead is, you know, maybe $30, $40 a month. And if that's the case, maybe they're using Shopify, for example. If they're spending, say, $40 a month, well, they could make that back on four sales. So they've just said, okay, through brute force, we're just going to upload so many designs and we'll promote the shop that somebody somewhere will like something and buy it. So it's an idea. I'm not saying that it will work for you. I'm not saying it won't work for you. It's just something to think about if you're getting frustrated with Redbubble and you'd like a bit more control in your life. See, Snorg Tees, I'm just using them as an example, they're never getting banned. They, they own the site. They are Snorg Tees. And so therefore, if, you know, if they uploaded some design, now I'm not seeing anything here that's like ridiculously trademarked infringed, but let's say I did. Let's say they uploaded a whole bunch of Spider-Man t-shirts. Well, what would happen is Printful or Printify or this new, they would say, hey, we're not, we can't, pro we can't process that order. And they'd have to remove it. So these guys are doing it right. I mean, they've got all original designs that they've created themselves or they've purchased or they've got a staff doing it. But my point is they're not just stealing Spider-Man pictures and throwing them up. So as a result, they've just got, let's go to the top here. They've just got a great looking, easy to navigate website lots of different categories here. And then you can click on some sort of niche 
and you can say, oh, I really like that t-shirt, and there you go. They're in control of everything. So I'm certainly not trying to push you in that direction, but if you're starting to feel frustrated with Redbubble, it may be the universe telling you that you're outgrowing somebody else's platform. And you may want to just create your own platform or at least start investigating that. And then you become essentially an owner of that site and an owner of a business. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Lots of options there for you to check out. You don't need to get frustrated. We can look at alternatives. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.